Seven U.S. sailors who were killed last week are honored in a memorial service today. The sailors were on board the USS Fitzgerald when it collided with a cargo ship in Japan. And now the Northeast Wisconsin community is helping those who survived the collision. Many of those sailors are struggling, unable to get their belongings, while the investigation into what happened continues. Sarah Taylor has more on those efforts tonight. They lost seven of their brothers, and so he's grieving. Dina Bass's son survived the crash aboard the USS Fitzgerald. She says her son and his shipmates are in need. And as a mother, to hear the pain in his voice, I want to make it better for him. I want to make it better for them in any way that I can. Bass reached out to Nancy Hutchinson. She's the president of Adopt a Soldier Door County. Hutchinson says over the past nine years, they have sent over 4,000 care packages to military members to lift their spirits. We do it because it's the right thing to do. Now donations are coming in for soldiers on the USS Fitzgerald. These boxes will deliver donations from Wisconsin to soldiers who are working on the USS Fitzgerald in Japan. We want to give back to the community and who better to help than our military personnel that is right now in need. Someone dropped off 48 blue t-shirts and 24 blue sweatshirts. Donations can be dropped off over the next few weeks. Keeping you connected, Shara Taylor, NBC 26. And if you'd like to help the cause, there are two sites in the Green Bay area collecting donations. You can drop off items at Gandrid Auto in Green Bay and Midwest Communications in Bellevue. We have a complete list of the items sailors need the most posted to NBC26.com.